I'll quickly show you how to do a complete oil change on a Chrysler Crossfire or Mercedes SLK. I'll put all the tools used in the description below. And if this helps, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more cool videos like this. Let's get started. First, either put it on wheel ramps or safely jack up your car. I have a separate video that shows how and where to lift this because the jack stand points are quite low on this car. I'll put that video in the description as well. Anyway, once the car is slightly raised, put some cardboard down and let's go under the car and remove the splash shield guard. The black plastic shield or guard is right in front and under the engine and oil filter. Now, while on your back, you'll see two bolts in the front and two in the back. Grab a ratchet or power tool and remove the four bolts with an eight millimeter socket. Now push forward, then down, and then scoot out. Okay, and that's my splash shield. Now to drain the oil, before you go underneath the car, grab your drain pan, some shop towels, latex gloves, grab a ratchet with a 13 inch socket. Now if you're wondering, after you take the splash shield off where the oil change plug is, it's on the passenger side. So I'm going underneath the car, Look on the left side, looking at it, the passenger side, and you'll see the oil change plug right there. Go ahead and loosen this. Could use a breaker bar here if you can't get it off. You can also apply some penetrating oil here. Okay, you just want to loosen it just enough with the ratchet to the point where you can then eventually unscrew it off. With your fingers. Okay, ready? Now I'm going to pull it. You can already see the oil dripping a little bit. And get ready and so <laughs> i'm not going to bore you and watch the oil completely drain but i timed it and it takes a little over six minutes to mostly drain okay so it is still going a little bit i'm gonna leave my drain pan here and while this keeps draining i'm gonna work on changing the oil filter now open the hood and i'll go over the tools shortly but here i'm on top, this black circle, is the oil filter cap and is right here. Now let's proceed. If this has helped so far, please hit the like button and subscribe. Grab your ratchet wrench with an optional 3 inch extension and your oil filter wrench uh, adapter. Go ahead and move it. Make sure you still keep your drain pan here. As you can see now, more oil's coming out. So, here's the old oil filter. Here's the new oil filter with the O-rings and the tools you'll need. Pointed tip or a flat tip or a pair of needle nose pliers to remove the O-rings. I'll show you how to do that right now. One thing to add, actually, there's um, an, an O-ring here. That's one, two, there's actually two here. You got one right there in the middle and then one here uh, just above it. And then you have the other one here. Back to removing. You can see I'm using various tools to remove the O-rings, like the pointed tip, flathead, even a pair of needle nose pliers. Choose whatever you want. Remember to remove all five. Okay, now I'm going to pull this off. Okay, now I'm going to install the O-rings. The old ones are on the left, the new ones on the right. So, just place it over here. I have a separate video you can watch that talks more about removing or installing the oil filter, O-rings, if you're struggling with them, and how to fix the oil filter housing if yours is broken. That's in the description. So, once you have all the oil filter rings on, all five of them, grab your oil filter, doesn't matter which way you put it on, and slide it through. Just go ahead and push it through. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now they're reinstalled. Okay. Just go ahead and screw it in my hand as much as you can. By the way, it says right here, 25 newton meters, which is 18 foot pounds. So that's what you'll torque it to. 
grab your oil filter wrench, the extension, and a torque wrench, and it, this will be tightened to 25 newton meters, 18 foot pounds. Okay, gonna need a click sound. There we go. Here's a quick tip if the oil filter wrench can't get it off, don't worry, just give it a couple taps. There we go, and it's off, and it's nice and tight. Here's a helpful tip the oil drain plug usually has a washer on it, and usually, after a certain amount of time, it's best to just replace this. So, I'm going to put this on here. I'll put all these parts and tools in the description below. Now to reinstall the drain plug. Just go ahead and use the shop towel and give as much oil as you can. Now put the drain plug in. Put the cross washer on. Go ahead and start tightening it by hand at first. Grab your torque ratchet wrench, 13 millimeter socket. Go ahead and tighten it to 22 foot pounds. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna pour the oil in. It even shows right here what kind of oil to use for this car. 0W40, European oil. Any oil brand is fine. And right next to the oil filter is the place to put the oil in. Notice I put some shop towels around the cap. Next, remove the oil cap. I just put my funnel in and I'm going to carefully pour this in. Put in the recommended oil in your vehicle. This uses eight and a half quarts. When done, remove the funnel and paper towels. Go ahead and put the cap back on. Nice and tight. Cool. Then reinstall the splash shield. Now to reset the oil indicator in the car. Grab your key and turn it to the on position. Not all the way. Double tap the knob on the left until you see a minus sign. Now keep pushing the knob and while doing that, you turn the car to the off position. Now keep holding it and turn the car back on to the on position. You'll hear a beep and it should reset. Great. Cool. Next, turn your car on and check for leaks. Otherwise, you should be good. As mentioned earlier, if you are having trouble with removing the oil filter housing or its O-rings, I have a helpful video you can watch along with how to properly lift up a low, low profile vehicle like this. And please mention in the comments your thoughts on this video or if I missed any tools in the description. Liking this video and subscribing is always appreciated and until next time, thanks for watching.